Hey legends, and welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be opening some Sneak Energy. It's the new Neon Punch flavor. Hello legends, it's your boy Link, and I'm back with another review of Sneak Energy. It is day one for Neon Punch. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it day one because Sneak did say there's some coronavirus sort of pandemic delays in shipping. But very fortunately, even though it said it was getting delivered Monday, it's been delivered today, which is Saturday, which means the review will be update one, which is pretty good, right? I didn't just order Neil Punch, so should we find out what we got? I can't get it open. Ah, oh. <laughs> I managed to rip every part of the sellotape apart from the part that matters. How typical is that? It says A on my box. I don't know what A means. We have some protective packaging. Now, just to mention, Sneak didn't do a new shaker for the new Neon Punch flavor, so I decided to take it upon myself to get the old neon drip sneak shaker in sort of orange and pink. It's a quite bright one. You know, you've got your rabbit. I like the sneak graffiti. That reminds me of sort of the things I use in my thumbnails from time to time. The reason I've got shakers is so sneak. Basically, once I put a tub in my basket, it said for five pound more, you can get an extra shaker. I use them quite a lot. Not only when I'm drinking Sneak, but also if I want to just have like a drink of water, I will use my Sneak shakers. So that's why I have quite a lot. I also got the OG. It's just a white and black one with a, a sort of original Sneak writing. The original Sneak bunny. A white and black lid. It's a more boring one, but I didn't have one like this. So I wanted it sort of for the collection. Do any of you guys actually collect like the sneak shakers or other energy drink shakers? I've got loads of them from different brands now. Does anyone else just like keep buying them and you put them in like a place? Let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on social media. I'd love to see your pictures of your sneak collections. Hit me up at link gooding. Use the hashtag real soon. And show me what you've got. Have you got anything cool? Right, so. I've got a tub of Sneak Blue Raspberry. I've probably got less than five servings left of this. So because I was doing the order, Sneak do free next day delivery in the UK if you spend 80 pounds. So I ordered this as well. It's a bit different to my old tub. It feels a bit more textured and sort of 3D. Just to show you this up close. So this is the new tub. You're kind of like the 3D texture. And then this is the old one which is still 3D, but it's not anywhere near as lifted as this is. Also the bases, the new tub is much more shiny and less kind of holographic than the old one. So interesting little change in the tubs. I've had that blue one probably a year, so it's interesting to see that they've changed it up a bit. And then next up, this is the one you're here for, Neon Punch, naturally flavored. There's been loads of different opinions on what this actually tastes like. People saying pear, people saying, so someone saying melon, guava, dragon fruit. So I haven't got a clue what it's actually supposed to taste like. So let's find out. Before I try it, just to say quickly, if you've never used Sneak before, or if you're watching this because you've never tried Sneak before, you're not someone that's watched all my other Sneak reviews, or you haven't had Sneak to try in the past, it is a vegan, healthy energy drink that you can use to kind of replace like your monster, your Red Bull, but it has extra vitamins aimed at gaming for things like your eyesight and your concentration. It has a lot of caffeine in. Also, if you haven't used it before, in the description is a code so you can get your starter stack, which is a shaker and some sachets at a discounted rate. And it gives me some sneak elite points, which is like their rewards club. So yeah, if you haven't tried it and you want to try it, please use that link down there and help your boy out. Has 150 milligrams of caffeine per serving. So there's a lot of caffeine in every single serving of it, but we like caffeine. 
I'm curious to see how this smells. Okay. Right now, because it's called Neon Punch, I expected neon powder or bright powder. Some other brands that I've used have much brighter powders than Sneak does. One thing that kind of always weirds me out about Sneak is sometimes the powder is like white and then you mix it with the water and then you get some wild colour appearing. The powder, just to show you, trying not to spill it, looks like that. So it's a, it's a greeny hue. I'm trying to dig out the scoop right now. And it, it comes with a little scoop. One, There's a line inside the scoop, which is one serving. So it's all simple. If you haven't used it before, it's a simple thing to do. You basically get a scoop, you mix it with water. They recommend, I think, 400 ml, but I normally do 500 ml. And then you just tip it in the water. I'm going to see what it smells like now. The, the raw powder sometimes doesn't smell. It doesn't smell of anything that I'm familiar with. So I'm curious what it's going to be like when I try it. Today we're going to be mixing it in the OG Blizzard shaker. Blizzard was the first ever sneak review I did. And 6,000 of you guys have watched it now. So thank you, Legends, for hanging out with me and checking out the Blizzard review. So this is pre-filled with 500 ml. There is measures on the the side of the shaker. It's about 500 ml of water in there. It has been refrigerated. You can mix it with ice, but it doesn't always mix as well with ice. So my advice would be mix it, then throw your ice in if you want to have it super cool. Especially when we get to the summer, it's coming. It's good to put some ice in to keep it cool for longer. Because I often sit this over the course of like an hour or two, rather than sort of down it all in one go. And it's one of my favourite sort of benefits of it compared to a Monster or a Red Bull. If I have Monster or Red Bull, I have this like fear of it losing carbonation and I just have to drink it and drink it and drink it. With this, that problem does not exist. I'm nervous to see what colour this turns out. Oh, it's gone blue. It's gone like a bluey green straight away as soon as it falls in. I can't really show you that because it will tip out. Now the sneak is in there with water. Cue the montage music. <laughs> Very greeny, kind of like a greeny, bluey sort of shade. Most important is how does it smell? It smells like pear drops. Someone said pear drops. A few people I've seen on social media have said pear drops. That's what it smells like. As always, for impartiality, I have a champagne glass to assess the colour of the sneak, just so you guys can see what it really, really, really looks like. Do you call that neon? Is that neon to you? It looks like it's got a slight glittery effect, almost like how Blizzard does, but not on the same level. I don't know if that's intended or if it's just a sort of small globules and molecules of powder floating around. It smells like I'm going to like this. Be cultured and try it from the glass first. I like it. It is like a pear drop, but it's like there's a little something else in there. I want more of it because I like it. So the the what the the wine glass taster was not enough for me. I really like it. It's got a very sweet, very sweet flavour. If you're not the sweetest of person, it's probably not for you. It tastes like a pear drop, but maybe with just a little sprinkle, a little bit of sort of like a little dash of something else. Maybe could be like a guava or something. It's good though. I like it. It's like, I don't really know why they call it Neon Punch. Maybe they just wanted to do the whole boxing glove emoji and treat that like a big deal. I don't know. But it's not really punch. It doesn't remind me of a punch. It just reminds me of like sweets. For me, this is more similar to like the Generations line of Sneak, like your Millions ones. Like it's reminiscent of a sweets rather than like an actual fruit. So 
it's kind of like generations, but whether Sneak didn't want to do any generations ones that weren't millions or that weren't licensed from another company, that might be why this isn't in that line. It's good though. Everything that I review on the channel always gets a score out of 10. Now, Sneak Neon Punch, I like it. Its flavor's good. I will just mention as well, because I haven't tested it in this video, but I've tested it hundreds of times with Sneak before, the energy hits harder than a monster, lasts longer than a monster, and you don't get all the sort of gassy bloatiness from a monster. So if you're looking for an alternative, definitely check it out. But the energy's there. The flavor is very, very good. It has not, like, blown me away. Like, my mouth is not hanging open or anything. So I don't feel like it deserves a 10, but it is very, very good. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Reason it's just a 9 is it just doesn't have that... doesn't have that spark. It's not that that makes it special. But I like it. I recommend it. If you haven't tried it before... Go and try it because it's very, very good. Thanks so much for watching this video today. If you want to see more sneak videos, do let me know. I do tend to review every flavour that I can get hold of because some of them are limited edition. They go out of stock before I get a chance. I do tend to review most of them. If you want to see me keep doing it, do let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and dropping a comment down there. Also, someone did suggest maybe they would like to see a sneak collection tour or an energy drink collection tour. It's a, it's a weird idea, it's something that I've never done. If you like the idea though, hit me up in the comments and let me know that you think that's a cool idea. Do you want to see my whole energy drink collection? What are all the tubs I'm using now? What are the ones I'm, you know, what shakers am I using? What shakers are my favourite? Maybe we do like a whole Lynx collection video sometime. Let me know. If you guys want to see it, do let me know in them comments. And all there is left to say is thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss everything that's coming up real soon. Especially the next sneak flavour because the next sneak flavour will, will come and I'll probably buy it and review it. Thanks for watching. I've been Link. And you. That's you. Have been one of my legends. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.